guys welcome to my channel my name is Teresa Winfred if you're seeing me for the very first time but you can call me Terry I make lifestyle related content where I basically share with you my life in its most authentic self <laughs> with the hopes that that will raise our level of consciousness and in turn that will make us that will make us for um, better wholesome human beings for ourselves and for others or rather those around us okay all right so for today's video so for today's video i am basically going to share with you four salads that don't suck two are savory and two are more on the sweet side okay all right so this video um i want to say highly requested but it's not not really that wouldn't be true of me to say but the ones that have requested this video this particular one have been very vocal about it so Finally, I'm getting around to it and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So today's main ingredient is going to be red cabbage. I just thought to um, kind of simplify um, my my work by doing them in bits. So maybe next time we'll have a main focus on a different kind of vegetables and make four other salads out of it. You know, something like that. Let me know if you're interested for like a sequel or such. You know of salads that don't suck a sequel if you're interested yeah so yeah one more thing i want to point out mm. <laughs> yo i am <laughs> thank you for those of you who have supported if you're looking to support you're not you're not uh you know you can still do so uh the number will be right here okay and yeah whatever amount you are willing and comfortable to send in uh to send to support this channel okay i'm about to fumble with my words Oof, i'm excited i'm excited i'm gonna make a video about that I, like, my first reaction and how it has been so far uh yeah i appreciate you guys you guys are just the best <laughs> i'm about to start saying what i did anyway anyway let's get to the salad today's about salad okay let's get to it so yeah like i mentioned there are two two categories of salads so in the sweet category, we're going to make two kinds and in the savory category, we're going to have two kinds, okay? All right. Oh, so I'm saying this video was made possible by your giving because I went and sourced for these materials <laughs> from uh, some of the donations, donations, from some of the support that you guys have sent my way, okay? Because I said the money that comes in in regards to YouTube, I wanted to stay that way, to go towards creating content, okay? So yeah, this one, just big up yourself. Big up yourself, okay? <laughs> All right, let's get started. I hope you give one of these salads a try or all of them. And then let me know in the comment section when you do. Let me know what you think of it, how you like it, if you don't like it at all, if your taste buds were not, taste buds. If your taste buds were not, you know, they didn't do something, then let me know, let me know. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the... Which one should we start with? Sweet or savory? Sweet or savory? Sweet or savory? Hmm... I think I'll start with the sweet category because, hey, <laughs> you know. Our main star is this red cabbage, which I'm going to use to make all four salads. So I'll just make bits of each, okay? So uh, red cabbage, uh, do, what do you call them? White onions or sweet onions or yellow onions? Onions, <laughs> diced mangoes. French beans steamed uh, prior, so now they are cool and cold maybe, cool, room temperature. Here I have quinoa, here I have lentil or kamande, cucumber, some brawn, chicken brawn, uh, dania, cilantro, carrots, just, you know, avocado, half an avocado. I just kept keep it covered so it doesn't turn. An apple and an orange, okay? let's get started so for the cabbage i had i already cut it okay i mean clearly <laughs> and then i put some salt in it and squeezed it you know together and then it's just been in the refrigerator waiting for me to be ready to start making the salad so i'm gonna start with a little bit of the cabbage and the everyday ingredients you will of course have you can have this from your mama mboga just outside your house, you know, a bit of uh, cucumber, 
and a bit of carrots. You know, I'm just noticing I do not own very many bowls. Actually, I own no bowls. <laughs> this is so sad. I'm gonna need to get uh, my hands on those sooner than later. So you see the kawa, the everyday, you know, like a coleslaw. Just think of a coleslaw, how we'd always have like, you know, carrots, cucumber, cabbage, you know, and then if you want a creamy dressing, you can go with like a mayo. But if you want um, a, a light dressing, you can go with a vinaigrette, which for me personally is my preferred choice of, uh, what do you call it, dressing. So just a little bit of the onions and then I had the onions in room temperature salty water and then I just drained that out when I was ready to start making this video. Okay, so just mix that in real good, you know. I think it needs a little bit more of the cucumber. So it's just me who's going to eat this salad. So please don't be grossed out when you see me touching it and all that. Please don't, okay? All right, so next thing, let me just wash my hands real quick. Next thing we're going to do Okay, let me dry them here. Next thing is the orange. So for this first salad, what we have here is cabbage, cucumber, carrots, and orange, okay? And I do want to get some slices of the orange, so I'm gonna try and do that off camera. But for now, you do want to squeeze in a bit of the juice in there. Because remember, the first two salads will be in the sweet category. Look, there's a seed here. Just squeeze that in real nice. And then you see with this, you might not even need um, a dressing because the orange juice, you know, it's going to do its thing, yeah? And this kind of orange is usually sweet, so you don't have to second guess uh, the taste. Okay, I think I'm going to put a bit of cilantro, just a tiny bit. Just to, mmm, you see? Oh, looks nice. And by the way, this is how I come up with recipes. I just, if, if, I'm in, if I'm feeling like something sweet today, then I'll try to experiment with that, put a few things together, and I'm like, oh, that's how I make my two discoveries when it comes to um, salads and recipes and all of that. So let me just get the orange slices in off camera, then I'm going to get back to you see that was a complete success then i just have to the slices so yeah oh that looks so good and you have to be you have to try and make it look as cute and presentable and for me that would be as colorful as possible and a mixture of all the textures and oh my goodness it looks good my mouth is watering already okay so let me just uh okay try to make it look cute Okay, so that one there, a little bit over there, this one here, oof. And if you know me, then you know I like to try and incorporate a bit of the superfoods in my food. For cooked foods, that would be akina moringa, you know, a bit of flaxseed here and there. So here, um, because you can eat it raw anyway, I want to try and add a bit of uh, poppy seed, some sesame seed this one i got from kafor and a bit of the flax seed so basically i'm adding all my super <laughs> super seeds yeah and i don't know let me i'm gonna give it a little bit of a taste just to see if i need a dressing i honestly don't i don't need a dressing for this one it's a very fresh mm. So the flax seeds, you know, it's good for digestion, it's good for your gut, it's got protein in there. I think, uh, um, oh, yeah, it does, omega-3 fatty acids, so you do want that in your diet. You don't have to eat it every day, but, you know, it's nice to have it in your diet. A bit of the blue poppy seeds, just a tiny bit to add a bit of color. Because you see, look at all that interestingness it adds to the salad. Oh, beautiful. And then a bit of the flax seeds. I mean, sesame seeds, sorry. Just a 
tiny bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So if you're feeling, I mean, well, for this, uh, if you're feeling parched, let me just continue with that thought. If you're feeling parched, um, you've had a long day outside, you probably didn't take enough water during the day. This is a good salad to like rehydrate you because, you know, cucumber is like, what, 80% water. The carrots is liquid as well, cabbage, and then the orange juice. Oh, man, this is very refreshing. So, yeah, salad number one done. Let me give you a test taste, and then we see how that goes, okay? Time for the truth. Okay, so I want to give you a little bit of a test taste, and I want to try and have all the ingredients that I've had in here in one bite, just to see what that really tastes like. And... This is a full bite, you know. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. I could use a bit of dressing just to add a bit of tanginess to the sweet orange because the sweet orange is not very sweet. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of a dressing. So for my dressing, I like to, this is not it. <laughs> I make my vinaigrette in here where I just put in a bit of olive oil, mm, vinegar, a tiny pinch of sugar, some salt and black pepper. Shake it up until it's well combined. And then that's my dressing. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit to it just to add that um, tanginess, that flavor. There's just something about a vinaigrette there, baby. Just, yo. Okay, so just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, let me give it another bite. We figure this out together. Oh. Please let me know when you try this uh, salad. Let me know which one you like the best if you try all of them. And yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to be finally doing this because I've also not had a salad in a very long time. Okay. Here's the second try. See how big a bite that was. Huh? <laughs> mm. Yeah, do have your vinaigrette over here. Mm. Mm. I bit into a seed, so you might want to check for that. You know why I went for the this kind of orange is because I know, or rather, they're known to not have seeds. So yeah, you want to check for the seeds first. That can really mess up the taste but yeah let's go to salad number two mm. so salad number two is a combination of both fruit salad and vegetable salad who said you have to have one you know if you can have both in one in one sitting why not isn't it so for this one we have um some apples uh some mangoes or rather mango slices a bit of the red cabbage some cucumber, I mean some carrots and cucumber, <laughs> I'm going right ahead of myself. So how I was first introduced to salad was, or rather I, I was first introduced to salad or I mean I didn't grow up liking or eating salad because I used to think ah such a kulaya nini sungura nafanyana nini, you know, like rabbit food, what am I doing with that, you know. So the first salad that I ate and I fell in love with was the strawberry chicken salad at Java. And that was the first time I saw fruits being incorporated with vegetables and chicken. And I was like, wait, salads don't have to suck. Cause you know, just cabbage on its own is just, what am I doing? I'm not eating that. But when you combine it with fruits and all these other things, it makes for such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful meal to have. 
and I like this one especially because if you've been slacking on your fruits and vegetables then this one can save you <laughs> so vitamin C we see we can get that from the carrots the cucumbers the fibers from the mango apples are good for you I don't remember what vitamins are in apples but yeah you know and you know it is way I would just try this salad then let me know <laughs> what you think okay so combine 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 well make sure you combine well again color oh eat your colors there's a diet out there that you know they try to eat all the colors every day like green something green something yellow something i don't know there are too many diets out here but if you can just try and be healthy <laughs> you need to worry about colors of the food but yeah this is this um that is it for this one right here we can throw in a bit of cilantro for a bit of color and a bit of zing to it uh and then i'm gonna add my preferred salad dressing which is a vinaigrette this is homemade no this is not the brand don't even know <laughs> So yeah, just oof. Then oof, oh, 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 oof. Okay, that's enough, Terry. Don't go wild. Mix that up. And your meal is ready. That's simple. Imagine. Imagine. We didn't even use the full apple. We used like half an apple for one person. And then if you're also trying to like what you wait this is pretty good you can have like a huge bowl of this and calorie wise you know so yeah eat your fruits and vegetables guys it's getting darker outside but that does not bother us because we have a ring light hallelujah hallelujah we thank god for the little things okay so here's our test taste I'm gonna try and have everything in this one bite. Okay, a bit of the apple, a bit of the cucumber, a bit of the mango. And then here, you can also choose to add your superfoods, your super seeds or super powders or whatever. You can choose to add them here. I feel like you already got the, you get the concept, so I'm not going to do that for this one, but yeah. Uh. Can you hear the crunch? Mmm. I didn't get the mango. Oh, the apple. Because I'm not tasting it in there. Mmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I like the black pepper in the vinaigrette it adds so much depth mm. <laughs> my mouth is watering <laughs> mm. this is good i really like it it's also another fresh salad so for the sweet ones mm, you make it sweet by adding the fruits yeah not sugar no you make it sweet by adding fruits and these are good for during the day especially the hot days that we've been having during the day and then very cold nights because it's been raining this is good for during the day like a nice lunch meal mm. you can make this the night before and pack it to work if you're a working girl or guy okay let me have one last bite then we move on to our savory savory salad okay oof okay okay there's a huge one Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. And there's so many textures in this one it's so good the mango with its fluffiness the crispy crunch from the carrots and the cucumber and apples mm. okay salad number three Moving to our second category of salads, which is the savory bit. 
Uh, we're going to start with, of course, the main ingredients being the red cabbage, just a tiny bit, because I already have so much salad, I don't know what to do with it, okay? <laughs> so we start very simply first, and then we make it complex in the next uh, salad. So this one we have red cabbage, a bit of the green beans, which is pre-boiled, no, not boiled, with pre-steamed uh, with a bit of salt. So this has a bit of salt, this has a bit of salt. The lentil has a bit of salt, come on, it's just boiled, nothing fancy with them. Just boiled and a bit of salt in there. So you want to, oof, look at that, it looks so good already. Why aren't you eating your salads, people? And then a tiny bit of onion because, shh, why not? Okay, just pull it apart so we get more bites of the onion. Okay, and then we're going to add a bit of carrot for color and all that good jazz, okay? So then you mix it up together. Oof, look at that. I'll admit it, I think this one would do best with like a cream, like a creamy uh, salad dressing, something with mayonnaise or like Italian dressing or a thousand island. Uh, I don't have any of those in the house, okay? Cause a girl is trying to be healthy. Healthy, healthy here, healthy everywhere. So yeah, oh look at that, it looks nice, yeah? And this one has the, with Lenten you get your protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my salad dressing, the one that I have, which I know will still add a nice depth to it. But yeah, like a creamy dressing would definitely do this one a bit more justice than my vinegar. But wait, let me let me test it first so we can decide together what we prefer. Okay, let me try it first. Let me not dismiss it before I even try. Yeah, just and then this one is a little bit more dry, so you want to go in with the dressing a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, another toss. So yeah, did I, did I say this is already pristine? It's not mbichi. Don't be eating your don't don't go eat it mbichi. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't know if you do that. <laughs> you didn't get it from me, please. No, don't embarrass me like that. And then maybe a little bit of cilantro just because it adds, you know, the color and the oh, the flavor and everything. Okay, and that's it. There's your savory salad. You know what? I'm just gonna put all of this in there. Yep, all of it. So then we mix. Oof, that looks so good, you guys. Oh. Then again, if you want to add your super seeds, feel free to do that. Okay, time for a test test. Let's let's dig in. Let's dig in. Oof. Okay, Mishiri, chill. I don't want all of you. I just want some for a test. Gosh. Okay. So let me. I'm trying to get in the lentil as well. So let's go. Hmm. trying to speak mm. a bit of a kick would be nice in this one so some chili flakes if you're not bold like that <laughs> just add in a bit of black pepper an extra one from because the vinaigrette has black pepper so yeah you can just add a little bit more but i feel like this would be nicer with a bit of a cake i'm not a crazy chili person i like just hints of chili so yeah if, if you like chili my friend go home the vinaigrette works just fine you don't you don't have to feel the pressure of buying like a salad like a creamier salad dressing for this one the vinaigrette works just fine because the lentil is quite dense I don't know if that makes sense but it is pretty dense so you don't even feel like you need to add creaminess to it so actually the vinaigrette might just be a better dressing for this one because the lentil is quite thick and dense. so yeah let me give it one last bite <laughs> then we'll see Ooh. 
your chili to this one mm. this is quite nice I feel like this is what I need right now you know okay probably don't know but <laughs> I feel like this is what my body needs right now it just it feels like a nice warm hug also because of the heat the chili the heat from the chili and how I feel like Maybe it might not rain tonight, but it's been raining, so that really warms you up, you know? Mm. Okay. Salad number four and the final one in three, two, one. So our final salad calls for cabbage. Yeah. Uh, a bit of the quinoa. You can get quinoa from the supermarket. I got mine from Carrefour at the grains and spices section they just pima for you and quinoa is rich in carbohydrates if i'm not mistaken so this is quite a full meal you know it has your vegetable carbohydrates more vegetables and protein in form of avocado and the the what, what do you call this brawn you can you know you don't have to use this i'm just trying to use what i have in the house um, this is brawn, chicken brawn, but you can use ham or you can actually make chicken and you can actually make chicken like a chicken schnitzel and then use it in the salad, okay? You don't have to go this route. You can always, you know, switch your up. You can choose a protein of your choice. I'd go for white meat, that is chicken, if you can, turkey, maybe even pork, but yeah, just white meat is good with this. So yeah, um, a bit of the French beans, and then I'm gonna add the protein bit of the salad. Some of it in my kwamapa. And avocado, I've not forgotten. Just let me mix this. Hmm. Quinoa looks interesting. <laughs> this looks so good how do i come up with these things <laughs> wow honestly i was just thinking color coordination this would look nice this would look cute mm -hmm -hmm. i tried to look at um uh other recipes that have cabbage in there and they looked boring they looked you know they looked kawa i was like ah let me let me let me do something let me cheza kama mimi let me go to my experimenting uh let me put on my thinking cap and my experimenting Terry side and just try new things. And yeah, here we are. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this one. Wow, this looks like something you'd buy in a five star. Yo! <laughs> this looks really good. Let me add a bit more of the quinoa. Because it is a marangi nani nani furaisha nani chagamusha roho. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, Terry. Okay. Okay. Going crazy with the dressing. Mm -hmm. Oh. You see the oil, the olive oil in the salad dressing just gives it this nice luscious color. It brings back the color because the the brown is quite dry, the French bean is quite dry, oh, but now together, even the nini is dry. The, what's that, quinoa is pretty dry. Oh, 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 oh. and then, and then, if you know me, you know, you know, you know. Okay, so then we just scoop that out. And then just put it as a hole in there. I mean, why not? Ooh. <laughs> Baby. And now we taste. I'm excited to try this one. 
Okay, so the first bite won't have avocado, the obviously. Uh, not obviously because I mean, look at this mouthful. I love I add avocado. How? Let me start with this first, and then to one. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, <laughs> mm. chili mm, it will also be a good addition here but i like it as is i'm just gonna eat it as is i want to add though a bit of salt onto the avocado so that you know it doesn't taste off let me do that i already put a bit of salt and um i've taken a bit of a slice from there and then now just to add this other babies in here and then Chef Terry from today. Chef Terry. I will not respond to anything else. If it doesn't have Chef Akombele, mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know who you're talking to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Mm. And it's not even a tea. I'm being biased because of my salads. They're actually pretty good. So at this juncture, I would like to remind you <laughs> there's a provision for you to support my channel and which allows me to go experiment freely and then come share with you amazing findings. For instance, these salads, you know, this is this is this was made possible by your giving, okay? So yeah. Thank you. So I should thank you, Sindio. Thank you for making this possible. And I hope you try the salads because my goodness, they're amazing. Please try it. I don't know what you're missing in your life. Or rather, you don't know what you're missing in your life. So yeah, I'm just gonna try figure out which one I'm having for dinner tonight and how to package them so I can store them in the fridge so that hopefully Monday they'll still be okay so I can have people over to show the salad with me because Tomorrow is a busy day. Day after tomorrow is a busy day. So, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. I love you, but most importantly, God loves you. Mwah.